Space Exploration, Technologies Corporation, also known as SpaceX, is now the center of attraction among rocket enthusiasts founded on 2002 by Elon Musk. SpaceX has traveled a long way and achieved many goals, and it's 18 years of operation. Elon Musk invested over $100 million in this company. Have you poured into this? Uh, $100 million. $100 million yes. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. SpaceX began developing its rockets and had the first successful test of its Merlin engines on 2003. Musk decided SpaceX's first rocket would be named Falcon 1. Falcon 1 had a one Merlin engine on its first stage and a Kestrel engine on its second stage. Both first and second stage used RP-1 as the fuel and liquid oxygen as the oxidizer, even though Musk plans for Falcon 1's first launch to occur in November 2003, 15 months after the company started, he couldn't achieve that goal. After three years of development, Falcon 1 was finally ready to conduct its first launch on March 24, 2006, carrying Falcon Sat-2 to orbit. Unfortunately, the launch ended in failure, less than a minute into the flight. The culprit was a fuel line leak on the first stage. The vehicle had a noticeable rolling motion after lifting off, as shown on the launch video, the vehicle rocked back and forth a bit and then at D plus 26 seconds the vehicle rapidly pitched over, the second launch of Falcon 1, carrying a demo sat instead of a real satellite occurred on 24th of March, 2007. One year after the failure of first launch attempt, this time, the first stage performed as expected. However, during staging the interstage fairing located on the top of the first stage bumped on the second stage engine bell, still the flight continued, but a premature engine shutdown happened at T plus 7 minutes and 30 seconds, and the spacecraft failed to reach the intended orbit. SpaceX characterized the test flight as a success having flight proven over 95% of Falcon 1 systems. SpaceX attempted its third Falcon 1 launch on 3rd August, 2008 carrying the Trailblazer satellite for the U.S. Air Force along with two other NATO satellites. This time stage separation occurred as planned, but because of residual fuel in the new Merlin engine evaporated and provided trendy and trust. The first stage recovery intact did the second stage preventing successful completion of the mission. The loss of its first three rockets pushed SpaceX to the brink of bankruptcy with all the money they had left in their pocket. SpaceX attempted therefore, fourth launch on September 28, 2008. Falcon 1 lifted off from Marshall Islands with 165 kilograms demos that the rocket followed the same trajectory as the previous flight and successfully placed the satellite in orbit on that evening. SpaceX proved to themselves and to the world that failure is the stepping stone to success. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. But, but when um, critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is... We've done it. SpaceX thus became the first company to privately develop a rocket and reach the orbit. With a successful launch of Falcon 1 SpaceX received $1.6 billion contract from NASA to deliver cargo to the International Space Station with a minimum of 12 flights. SpaceX then accelerated the development of this next launch vehicle Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is a two-stage rocket with nine Merlin engines on his first stage and one vacuum-optimized Merlin on his second stage. Falcon 9 version 1.0 had a successful test flight on 4th of June, 2010. SpaceX attempted to recover the first stage by parachuting it into the ocean, but it burned up on re-entry. Before the parachutes even deployed. In late 2011 SpaceX announced a change in its first stage, recovery approach, eliminating the, the parachutes and going with the proposedly powered descent approach. A reusable first stage was been flight tested by SpaceX with a suborbital grasshopper rocket from 2010 to 2015 Falcon 9 conducted 19 flights into the orbit, out of which only one failed on 22nd of December. 2015 same Falcon 9 successfully launched or become satellite into orbit and landed. Its booster stage on ground pad located at California, does becoming the first vertical landing of an orbital class rocket. Today, a single Falcon 9 launch would cost $62 million, which is much cheaper compared to other launch vehicles, and if you were used the Falcon 9 booster flew earlier, 
the cost of one flight would be as low as $30 million. Falcon 9 had a series of design changes from 2010 to 2016. Falcon 9 version 1.0 is now upgraded to Falcon 9 Block 5. As of now, the Falcon 9 family have been launched 93 times with 91 full mission success as one partial failure and one total loss of the spacecraft. To launch a heavier satellite into orbit, build a powerful rocket? But SpaceX went one step further by strapping three Falcon 9 rockets together and introducing its new heavy lift rocket. Falcon Heavy, SpaceX conducted the Falcon Heavy as maiden flight on 6 February, 2018 carrying a Tesla Roadster with a dummy serving as payload and sending them into a heliocentric orbit around the Sun. The two booster stages of Falcon Heavy successfully landed on ground pads, whereas the core stage failed to land on the drone ship. Falcon Heavy has conducted three successful launches till now with its success rate and reliability. SpaceX bought the contract from NASA to launch astronauts to the International Space Station. On 16 September, 2014 NASA announced that SpaceX has been selected to provide crew transportation to the space station, and SpaceX will receive $2.6 billion under this contract. Upon receiving the contract SpaceX, developed its crew, Dragon spacecraft to meet the NASA's standards required for sending astronauts to the space station on May 30th. 2020 SpaceX successfully launched NASA astronauts Douglas Early and Robert Behnken into orbit, making SpaceX the first private company to, to send astronauts to the International Space Station and marking the first crewed launch from American soil in nine years. He alone Musk has not forgotten his goal of sending humans to Mars and starting a colony there. While all the low-Earth orbit missions are running smoothly, SpaceX began development of its interplanetary, spacecraft, Starship in 2007 and is going through. Its construction phase right now. The construction site of Texas is growing fast these days and we can expect an orbital flight of Starship by very soon. If you did enjoy our video, please press the like button and subscribe. Thanks.